Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone Today we will present our presentation with the topic Time periods in British literature As you can see from the slide There are so many topics that we will explain one by one So before we are going to explain Let me introduce our member group I am Habib Maulana Ashauki and they are my friend There are Alfian Aksarun Khairuddin, Karisma Yohana Putri Audrelia, and Safa Aurelia Putri. So, are you ready guys? Let's start this material and happy watching. The next material, it will be present by my friend Audrey. Ten periods in British literature. The first period is Anglo-Saxon and Medieval periods. In this period, is written in Old English during the 16th 100 years ago from around 4500 and the era ends in 1066 when Norma France under William conquered England. The works include genres such as epic poetry, sermons, bible translation, legal works, chronicles, riddles, and others. Among the most important works of this period is the poem with the title Beowulf which has achieved national epic status in Britain. Next is second period, that is English Renaissance. This era start in 1066 until 1660. English Renaissance referred as the age of Shakespeare or usually called the Elizabethan era. Skiskeper was not an especially famous writer in his own time, and this time period covers as a period both before and after Elizabeth resigned. Some of important writers of the era include the first is Isaiah Spot Sir Philip Sidney, with the work is Stropel and Stella. The second is Pot Edmond Spencer, with the work is the fire queen and the last but not least is playwright William Shakespeare with the work is As You Like It, Hamlet, Max Bat, King Lear and the Tempest. Thank you. The next material it will be explained by my friend Safa. Period English Restoration and Enlightenment 1660 to around 1750. An episode in the history of Britain beginning in 1660 when the English monarchy, Scottish monarchy, and Irish monarchy were restored under King Charles II after the interregnum that followed the English Civil War. The term may apply both to the actual event by which the monarchy was returned to order and to the period immediately following the accession of Charles II. The period was ruled by literature that was reasoned rather than passionate. The literature of this period was the laudatory oath that gained a new life with restored aristocracy, the eschatological literature that saw an increasing despair among Puritans. For the example, John Milton wrote Paris Laws, Jonathan Swift notably wrote a modest proposal and Gulliver travels. The novel rose to prominence with Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe. Hello, my name is Habib Maulana. Today, I will explain about romanticism ever. What comes to your mind when you hear about romantic? Mm, it's about love, romance, sweet, but when we talk about romanticism era, it is totally different. It is not related to love or romance as we know. So, where is romanticism area? This era was began around uh, 1750 and early 1018. Here, we will explain to the next slide. Romanticism era complex artistic, literary, and intellectual movement that originates in the second half of the 18th century in the Western Europe and gained strength during the Industrial Revolution. It is partly a revolt against aristocratic social and political norms of the age of enlightenment and was embedded more strongly in the visual arts, music, 
and literature. A work romantic, it is because the author or the poet express their feeling, such as emotion, freedom, imagination, trope or their works. French Revolution is the main factor caused on romanticism era, because the first is the government system. Why? Because the public or the people were disappointed about the government system. It is about discrimination of human rights and the pure financial economy at that time. And then the second, the Britain with the European countries makes unity to start the war with the French. It made the British poets respond to this condition through of their literature works. What is that? The literature work that I will explain divided into three parts. They are poetry, prose, and drama. Poetry is the famous one of the literature works among of all. Why? Because it is just a short form, simple, and easily to share from mouth to mouth. Here the example of the author of poetry. The first author of English romantic poetry, it is William Blake. The next, William Wordsworth. Next is Sir Walter Scott. We are going to the second is prose. It is different from poetry. Prose develop or grown um, so slowly. The work is non-fiction literature such as history, biography, critic, and many more. So here the example of the author. The first is Carl Slam. The next is Jane Austen. And the next is drama. For drama. It is not popular as the other literary works. It is not grown or developed. Why? Because many people don't give appreciate to these works and the authors still unknown. Okay, thank you. The next material it will be present by my friend Alfian. Victorianism, the period of Queen Victoria from 1837 until her death. In 1901, was marked by sweeping progress and intelligence. It forms a link and transition between the writers of Romantic period and the very different literature of 20th century. The 19th century saw the novel become the leading form of literature in English. Charles Dickens and the Brown sisters are leading examples of novelis of this time period this is uh, the kind of or uh, the novel that the people in victoria uh, period met modernism this is the period of edward seven after the death of queen victoria it's marked by science and technology will transform the world in the century ahead. Modernism describes an era of cultural movements rooted in the change in Western society in the late 19th and early 20th century. The term covers a series of reforming movements in art as architecture, music, literature, and the applied arts which emerged during this period. Joy's most important works include The Dubliners, a portrait of the artist as a young man, and Ulysses. Okay, that's all of our presentation today. Any question? And thank you very much for your attention. Have a good day. Stay safe and stay healthy. And bye-bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.